All right, it's time for a new update on my reef adventure. But this time, it is a bad one. If you watched my last update on my reef adventure, um, you saw I got some brown slimy stuff on, the, on my sand bed. And um, this in combination with my declining water parameters, uh, nitrate and uh, phosphate, I immediately, immediately thought the worst. Um, and I got my confirmation. Because uh, last Tuesday, uh, I got my microscope and I just immediately took a sample uh, of the sand bed. And uh, this is what it looks like. You see all moving cells. And that's, my dear viewers, that's dinoflagellates, to be precise, Osteriopsis. So I know I'm not the only one fighting uh, dinoflagellates. I decided to make a guide how to fight dinoflagellates. So, and it's based on uh, Max Dinoflagellates uh, Facebook group. Um, so, if you, uh, if you are in the same boat as me, watch this video. And let's make Dino extinct again. I divided this guide in three steps. The first step is identify what you're dealing with and have a good picture of which spots are infected. The rock, the sand or glass. For, uh, then have a good description of what the infestation looks like. Is it sli slimy? What color is it? Uh, are there air bubbles? Etc. Then get a microscope and get some pictures, videos of the cells and make a topic on a forum or go to Max Reef Dinoflagellates support group on Facebook. The Facebook group doesn't sponsor me or I'm not affiliated with them, but uh, they help me ID my uh, dino uh, flagellate uh, species so, so I can make a, a good battle plan against that. There are multiple uh, dino flagellate species and each species uh, needs a different treatment. So after you get the ID uh, of the dino flagellate species, we will set up a battle plan. In my case, I got Osteopsis dinos, and it's the same treatment as Coolia dinos. So the first step is first get your nutrients in check. Aim for a ratio between uh, 100 nitrate and 1 PO4. So for example, nitrate 10 and PO4 0.1. If you got Osteopsis, watch out because they are one of the poisonous uh, dinos and it's uh, mandatory to filter with activated carbon. Osteopsis and Coolia are a swimming dino species, so you can uh, treat them with a UV light. Um, you should aim for a, a minimum for 1 watt per, per 3 gallons or 12 liters for a UV light. The flow rate through your UV is very important. You should aim for a, a 1 to 3 times gallons per hour or liters per hour for the tank's volume. Um, the UV should be at the top or the side of your tank and when the dinos are gone, still run the UV for another two weeks. Another part of the treatment is to siphon your dinos out of the tank with a, while using a filter sock so you can put the water back in but you filter out the dinos. Another thing is uh, you can add pots or bacteria to uh, make the biodiversity in your tank higher so they uh, the dinos can't be uh, as dominant as they are now in your tank. Other species that need a different treatment is Amphidinium and Prorocentrum. Prorocentrum is also po very poisonous, so filter, uh, filtering with activated carbon is necessary. These dino species uh, require a different way of treatment because they stay uh, when the lights are uh, put off, they stay in the sand bed. So they don't go in the uh, water column, but they go deeper in the sand bed. So UV treatment won't really work. The way to treat these kind of dinos is to use water glass. But why water glass? Well, the goal is to create a diatom bloom by adding more silicate to your uh, reef tank. 
and uh, by uh, creating a diatom bloom, it will outcompete the dinoflagellates. But before you add water glass, please get your nitrate and your phosphate levels up in a, in a good ratio. So, to start dosing water glass, use uh, 36 to 41% liquid sodium silicate, that's water glass. Dose 0.1 milliliters per 15 gallon, 55 liters of your tank volume for one per ppm silicate. Aim for two to three ppm silicate. It is important to, to do not dose the silicate direct in the tank, but mix it with 250 milliliters RO water and shake it. Dose the mix in a high flow area and testing, uh, testing daily is necessary because silicate is used up rapidly. Keep an eye on the KH, uh, magnesium and uh, your calcium levels as it maybe needs to be adjusted. The method can decrease alkalinity uptake. Don't siphon the sand with this method because it removes the diatoms that should outcompete the dinos. And if nothing is working, you can use the last resort, Dino X. Um, I read some reviews where all the uh, cleanup crew died um, or corals uh, just bleached. Um, I'm a bit hesitant to use it, so I will only use it and recommend it uh, when it's only your rest, last resort. So the tank look, looks very clean. Foxy the rabbit fish is eating like a pig. The Stylopora is still doing great, it seems. Um, what I see uh, due to the decline of uh, nitrate, uh, my uh, toadstool uh, has its polyps uh, in, uh, closed. Um, my bird's nest uh, fell off uh, when I uh, put the UV light in. There it is, it's uh, beside, uh, on the side of my tank and uh, I let it uh, uh, siphon 24-7 or I let it on 24-7 and uh, so I have to put my bird's nest, bird's nest back. Um, I sh shifted the sand a bit but after the first night uh, I set my UV on it still looks a bit better so it's working, so that's great, great news. And um, I saw my uh, hermits, uh, some hermits died to, uh, I guess they uh, eat from my, uh, from the dino. So uh, I think they died because of that. Uh, my shrimp are still alive, so that's great. Um, and the Recordia, yeah, they don't like the uh, low nitrite uh, either. But everything looks quite good. Even the Nemo's, they are looking happy. So that's it. My guide how we can fight dinos. Let's make them go extinct. <laughs> reptile ancestors. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and help me on the road to 1K subscribers. See you in the next time. Ciao.